All right, this is the easy samba. All right, so this groove right here, what we're doing is, this is actually a modification of a real samba. And it's something I came up with um, for my students who were like, hey, you know what? I can't play a full samba, right? There's just too much going on and I really need it like in a week. Um, and it was a way for them to kind of play a simplified version that would kind of in a way be cheating. Um, also sometimes even if I'm on a gig and the samba is insanely fast, right? So if I'm playing a burning samba, there's a lot of stuff going on there, right? But if I'm simplifying it to this simplified samba, this easy samba, kind of get the integrity of the groove so let me break this thing down and also if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe right so let's kind of jump into this so the first part is what's happening in the bass drum and this in the hi-hat right so they're basically just going back and forth in a real samba you have this double right that's using jazz samba so in this case we're just playing a single on the bass and then a, a hi-hat right so we're just going one two three four one two three four one two back and forth right then we're gonna play eighth notes at first in the snare just with the right hand and the right hand lines up exactly with what the bass and the higher are playing so if I get those going one two three four I have the right hand three four right right bass hi-hat bass hi-hat bass hi-hat then I just take my left hand and fill in that gap and I've got now my six deep notes going Then the trick here is to get a little bit of an accent, right? Because to get that samba feel, we want that, right? That. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually play just just by the snare by itself. We're gonna play right, left, right, left. Now let's add the bass drum and hi-hat. Now here, if we just do the right hand, we're gonna play that accent. Now we add the left hand with the other accent. That one's only upbeat, counting it. One E and up. One E and up. And the one E and up. And the... And the last thing to really make this thing cool is you gotta kinda split it between the snare and the ride cymbal. And the most important thing to actually make this work is you have to keep your snare drum extremely low. So the ghost notes or taps, call them what you will, they have to be super quiet so that everything else pops. The accents need to come out. So you put the accent on the bell, right? And then those accents, the taps on the snare drum stay super low except for the one accent. So just without the bass drum and the hi-hat, we got Together, boom, shake, boom, shake, here we go. Two, ready, and speed it up. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, sorry. Tempo, right? So you get kind of the idea. So at tempo, a little fill. 